Good evening guys, this is Sterickson again from XDA Forums. Um, I am going to go ahead and show you today um, a little bit on how to use Jesus Freaks tool called Smalley and Box Smalley. Um, the main reason I'm putting this together is I've been asked by certain individuals how to use Smalley and Back Smalley uh, to make certain tweaks on themes such as colors like uh, mainly the clock color um, and Smalley will allow you to do this and much more I'm not going to go into depth on how to find these actual tweaks because well it's it's there's no real way to standardize how to find each one of them you kinda have to read the code and and you know pick out where it's at so it, it gets to be a fun little challenge but it'll definitely be useful to you, to you to at least know what Jesus Freaks tool is Smalley and back Smalley also know he's very much not out of the game he's still very much so a part of Android um, actually making a lot of the things that me Cyanogen um, Beegs, hope that said that name right, um, and a lot of other developers on the forums do what we do. I mean, it makes it possible. So we're going to go ahead and show you. I already have everything opened up on my other desktop. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and check out where we can take a look and download them at. This is Jesus Freak's Android blog. This is actually not the most current um, update for his blog. Actually, it is this one where he actually added support for ODEX files so we could transfer or change them back into DEX files. That's, you know, another topic, another time. Really, you won't be using that for here, here and now. Um, so, what we're going to do is we need to download them. So, you, of course, you want to download the most recent. You can do it by clicking Smalley, back Smalley. and it's going to take you here which is his Google page if you want to find this um, you know just type up here in your little web browser um, you know if y'all don't know it's this thing right here y'all might laugh but you wouldn't believe how many times I gotta tell people where that is today um, it's going to be code.google.com forward slash p forward slash smalley spelled s-m-a-l-i hit enter you'll come to this page this is where you download the files. Click each one of them individually, save file, and you're done. Moving on and back a few pages. We need to see how to use Smalley. Jesus Freak is not calling it quit, so disregard that. I'll have to find it. There it is. Okay. This is the usage. Um, these are the ones that I would recommend using. Being that um, every time I use these right here, I end up getting memory problems. So I just go ahead and use these. Um, Jesus Freak may have fixed this already. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, you know, I haven't used Smalley in a little while because. Um, I've been working mainly in the source code, working on the lock screen that I've developed. Um, the first one, uh, first thing we're going to go over, Smalley is what is going to put everything back together once we have decompiled it. And back Smalley is going to take everything from the classes.dex and break it down into assembly code. So we're going to take the Smalley, back Smalley command and we're going to work our magic on a class.dex file. Okay, first thing we're going to look at is right here. This is inside of an update.zip. Mainly this is the first thing that you would see. You have the meta inf folder which contains the update script all the way in the bottom. I don't know if um, many of y'all wanted to know where that's at, but that actually controls everything um, that it tells the phone what to do with the update, whether to delete files, what to install, where to install it, uh, you know, things of that nature. Um, we're going to go ahead and look in system and app. Uh, we're going to pull an app out of here. I've actually already done it. What I did is I came in here, 
and I pulled music that APK and I pulled it over here yep. I've been renamed as dot zip as you can see right there dot zip you can use 7-zip or you know any kind of archiver that you want to actually open that up as is if you'd like I just got in the habit of renaming it dot zip personal preference okay so this is inside of the music dot apk dot zip the file that we are interested in today is going to be the classes dot dex so you right click copy that and you would bring it over right, give me one moment guys You will bring it over to here. I put in my class.dex inside of a folder I, not, I call test. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Uh, getting started, I'm already in the root folder of my C drive. So I'm going to go ahead and CD into my folder test. And I already had command for smally saved. So it's actually going to be. Um, C because I have everything in my C drive I put it all there so it's easier for me to reference things could put it in your uh, path if you want call it from anywhere but um, actually I don't think you can put it in your path sorry um, so let's go ahead and C colon backslash and it's gonna be back smally dot jar that's what I named mine and then we're going to tell it what it's going to decompile. In this case, it's going to be class.dex. Hit enter. It's going to take just a moment, and it's done. Pretty quick. A lot quicker than what it used to be. Um, uh, Jesus Freak really optimized it and sped it up quite a bit. If we pull this back up, we now see that we have a folder called out. Let's open up out. You'll see uh, a variety of different folders when you open up out. In this case, we're only going to have one. It's going to be com, and you're going to have Android, and you're going to have music. Okay, now here are all the files that uh, Baxmali generates quite a bit. Now, if you uh, do something like services.jar or, or framework, you're going to see a lot more, a lot more files. Let's go ahead and open this up quite a bit. Now you can see all of these are named Smalley files. Each one of these files is a class, meaning it's a class inside of a Java file. Just to break it down, you see here Alarm Browser Activity, Alarm Browser Activity 1, Alarm Browser Activity 2. You see down here Alarm Browser Activity Album List Adapter. So Alarm Browser Activity is our main Java file, meaning our main class and then all these other ones are going to be subclasses or other instances instances of it um, such as in this case album browser activity album list adapter album list adapter is going to be a class called from album browser activity so let's go ahead open one of these up let's find a good one to open we'll go to See, I know a few of these because I've been working in them. So we'll go to, where is it? Well. Okay, media button intent receiver. Let's check that out. Um, I recommend using TextPad. I use TextPad for everything. Jesus Freak actually turned me on to it. And I swear to y'all, it's the greatest thing on earth. So when you open up uh, Smalley, um, you're going to see a lot of stuff in here. It's probably not going to make a lot of sense to y'all. Or to some of y'all. Some of y'all probably read this better than I do because I'm still struggling with it. Um basically we're not going to go everything in here but um, just to go over a few things you know this is a method right here direct method here's a method starting right here um, registers I believe is the number of variables I could be wrong on that um, you know that's end of a method right there that's um, returning some value right there whatever PO is that's a boolean value right there so 
you got to kind of go through and you can um, you can read it you'll get used to reading it uh, Z is a true false so that stands for a value this looks like it's actually returning a value on that um, but there's there's a lot of stuff in here you can do basically if if you know assembly code well enough you could go in here and basically reconstruct the Java files from this if you really wanted to I, I would I certainly wouldn't want to but if you were so inclined you could um, and that is pretty much it now let's just say we made our changes <clears throat> sorry let's just say we made our changes and we are done we would go back in here yeah forget it doesn't work and now we're going to use smalley.jar to go ahead and recompile everything and we're going to type in the out folder we're going to hit that and we're going to wait a few moments and it's done we're going to go back here let's go ahead and go to test now you see we have a good old class.txt all over again you would then take this as your final product you would copy it let's go back to the C drive go back to music.apk right click you would paste it copy and replace you're done rename your file you probably don't have to resign it I just did you know, I have that resign.apk I don't trust it yeah, whatever um, and then you would push it back to your phone put in your update update.zip and push it back and uh, you know see if your changes was made um, I will advise you be very careful when editing these smally files um, boot loops can happen quite easily it's not difficult you change wrong value something like that you might get lucky and um, smallies uh, might warn you that you did something wrong or you might just get unlucky and get all the way to a booting looping phone that goes nowhere for eternity so work with it with ca caution and have fun with it uh, maybe uh, one day I'll put a little more time into actually going into the files and explaining exactly um, how to read certain parts of them that's a uh, it's quite another tutorial at quite another time but for the time being I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I hope I helped answer a few questions and we'll see y'all around the forum